Hey everybody, it's Mindy here. Welcome to Mindy's Mini Drum Lessons. So today I'm going to show the first two beats that I teach all my students. I'm not going to say the beginning of drumming because the beginning starts on that practice pad. And before you really get to the drum set, I definitely would love it if you had proper hand technique, you practiced a lot of rudiments on the pad, you learn the basics so that when you get to the kit, stuff starts falling into place right away. But that said, um, I'm mostly making this video for my students so that they have a reference point to remember, but I'm sharing it with you all because you know, anyone can learn, but if you don't have a drum teacher, I definitely suggest you get one because it's an invaluable experience having someone to actually look at your hands and help you correct any mistakes that you might have in your form that you're not aware of. Um, there's videos that explain hand technique on the internet and they work all right, but it's nothing like having someone actually get their eyes on you and be able to correct any mistakes. And as well, everyone has different hands. Everyone has different wrists. Everyone has unique injuries. I have some weird thing going on with myself where on my right hand, <laughs> like, um, these two fingers, for some reason, I think I jammed them in basketball. I can't move my pinky solo. I can move this pinky by itself. I can't move this pinky by itself. It's really weird. It kind of just a little bit affects my playing and I have to adjust for that. So yes, um, that's why I don't post, or I haven't yet posted a lesson on how to hold the sticks because there's different ways and it kind of depends on what's most comfortable for you. So I do that on a student by student basis and that's one of the main reasons I suggest you get a private instructor and not just rely on videos. But now that that's out of the way, I'm going to show you the first two drum beats that I teach students once I get them on the kit. Very basic. <laughs> the beginning. So I usually start with the beats where the snare's on two and four, four, four beats. Um, and I usually teach both the quarter note and the eighth note hi-hat patterns together. So today we're going to learn four on the floor on the bass, snare on two and four, and we're going to do it both with eighth notes and quarter notes on the hi-hat. Quarter notes first. So we're, we got our counting one, two, three, four. Our hi-hat is going to stick right there on those quarter notes. One, two, three, four. And the bass drum is right with it. Excuse me, my kitten is chewing on my headphones. I gotta go save them. Rosie! Rosie! No, those aren't a toy! <laughs> Alright. Bass drum is going to be right there with the hi-hat hand. So if you're right-handed, it's like your right side is connected with the string, they're right together, nice and easy. So let's do those right foot, right hand if you're right-handed. If you're left-handed, just switch it around. All right, so we got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Snare's gonna come in on two and four, so it's basically like with every other um, right side. So it's gonna be like right side, everything. Right side, everything. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We can break it down and do it just the hands. Just I usually like to, in the beginning, have students break it down to pairs of limbs to kind of see how everything interacts. So if we were to do just our hands, our right hand's doing one, two, three, four, and the left hand is on two and four, so it's kind of like doubling it up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then let's take a look at our snare hand with our bass pedal. Um, bass pedal's just doing twice as many as the snare hand. So snare on two and four, bass on one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we'll put them all together, nice and slow. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All 
right, and then from there we would head into the eighth note pattern on the hi-hat. So the hi-hat's gonna be going one and two and three and four and bass drum's doing one, two, three, four. Snare's just on two and four. So it's almost like a pyramid where you're doing eight hits on the hi-hat in the measure, four on the bass drum and two on the snare. So it kind of does a pattern of bass and hi-hat, hi-hat, everything, hi-hat. Bass and hi-hat, hi-hat, everything, hi-hat. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot to hit the bass drum there. Playing slow is rough. <laughs> All right, so let's look at the hands. So this is gonna be doing on the eighth notes, every eighth note, this is on two and four. So if we put those together, we have one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and if we look at your hi-hat with your bass pedal it's going to be basically that bass drums hitting every other with the hi-hat so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and then we'll put them all together we're going to add that snare drum on two and four. So you have the pattern of bass hi-hat, just the hi-hat, everything, just the hi-hat, and then back. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and And that beat right there is the beat for Another One Bites the Dust, which is usually what I use as a reference point for my new students to go listen to it and practice. Um, YouTube has a really cool, unique thing where you can slow down the playback, so you can slow it down and work on it with that and then bring it up to speed because in the beginning, you know, take things nice and slow. Precision above speed, always. So you want to focus on accuracy. It's not about being the fastest, it's about being nice and solid in your timing. Alright, so um, if you're a new student, I probably sent this to you just as a reference point, something we worked on in our lesson. And for everyone else, I hope you find this helpful. Very, very beginning, definitely, but I uh, just wanted to make sure I had it out there for everybody. Alright, thank you guys. Bye.